week, 11 Alive combines 21st century medicine with 21st century television. For the next five days, we'll take you inside the operating room live to show you the latest medical procedures as they happen. And our health editor, Mark Picard, will be our guide. He joins us now to show us what we'll see today. Mark? Uh, Adia and Brenda. Um, for the last year that these statistics were available in 1999, there were two and a quarter million plastic surgeries in America. That makes plastic surgery a sizable and permanent part of American medicine. Uh, I am with Atlanta plastic surgeon Dr. Brian Maloney of the Maloney Center here at the Atlanta Outpatient Surgery Center. Um, he's going to do three procedures for us this hour, and we're going to be here to watch you. Um, thanks for letting us into the room. Tell us what you're going to do, and let's get us started on the first one. My pleasure. Uh, our first procedure today is going to be an upper lip advancement, then we have a non-surgical facelift, and our third patient we're going to treat some acne scars. One of the beautiful things about these procedures is that they're done with a new injectable filler called Symmetra. Get a little stick here. With this filler, what's so neat about it is that it's actually human skin. And because it's human skin, patients don't have any allergies no skin testing is required and the patients can have this done as a very simple little office procedure. How do you compare Beautiful. what you're doing now to what you used to do? In the old days we would have to make a little incision in each corner you're doing great. Mm -hmm. uh, make a little incision in each corner and create a little pocket and we would tunnel that right across the upper lip. Now as you can see within less than a minute she has a nice full lip. From our studies we found that because this is the framework of skin, as we put this into the patient's body, their tissues grow into that framework. Because their bodies are constantly rebuilding themselves, that original framework is totally replaced by the end of a year. Uh, we're about to wrap up this uh, first segment. We're going to come back in a little bit to revisit Victoria and see how she's doing, and then we'll get started on the second procedure. So Dee and Brenda, we're here at the Maloney Center, the Atlanta Outpatient Surgical Center. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, thanks a lot, Mark. A little bit hard to watch for some people. Right. You had your can eyes I open closed. My, can I yeah. open my eyes now? Go ahead. <laughs> that was a little difficult. We'll see you later, Mark. All right, guys. It didn't hurt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think I we want to check back in with our Mark Picard right now for today's special Healthy Living Live segment. He's standing by at the Maloney Center with a live look at the latest advances in cosmetic surgery. Mark? Brenda and Dia, um, I know you gasped when you saw it, but Victoria Gabrick, tell Brenda and Dia that it doesn't hurt. It really doesn't hurt. All right. Um, the swelling, obviously, because of the sensitivity of the lips, is what, three or four times what's normal and it's gonna go back down, right, Dr. Maloney? Exactly, Victoria's gonna ice the lip and most of that swelling will be gone by this evening. Um, how long does this last? For the majority of patients, they're gonna retain some of this permanently. All right, um, thank you very much, Victoria. Congratulations, for being a good sport. Uh, let's move on to our next procedure. Our next procedure is gonna be what I call the non-surgical facelift. Over time, we begin to see a lot of changes occurring in the face, and a lot of those changes are due to the fact that the fatty layer begins to shrink. Injecting the Symmetra into these you areas... Know, before you do I need to say one thing. Ladies and gentlemen, this may look worse than it is. I need to let you know that some of these procedures, uh, while they may seem to be graphic, obviously do not really hurt the patient, so we just needed to let folks know that. But especially as, as we start seeing some of the depressions occurring in the lower part of the face, Having an injectable like this is a wonderful treatment. You doing okay, Eileen? Mm -hmm. Great. That allows people to attain softening of depressions and irregularities with really no downtime. Those markings on her face, you put those there obviously as, I guess, targets. Yeah, these, these are points that Eileen and I identified earlier as points that contributed to some of the, the tired look to her her face. The corners of the mouth all tend to droop down with time. This is a wonderful little treatment to help boost up those particular areas and soften that. We've got a very nice correction there. We do the same on this side. When do we see results? The results are really instant and one of the neat things about the Symmetra is that because it's, it's a, a, a thick liquid, we can actually feel the area after we inject it. And that's a great confirmation that we have the implant right where we want it. Can you make adjustments? Uh, we can make adjustments sometimes by doing a little massage. Other times, uh, if uh, the tissue tracked along a plane we didn't want it, we can inject some steroid to help mold it. All right, we're still underway with the um, 
procedure here. Um, check back with us in a little bit, guys, and we'll let you know how this is going, and then we'll start our third procedure. Uh, so we'll send it back to you. All right. Thank you, Mark. All this week, we're taking you live inside the operating room to show you a first-hand glimpse at the latest medical procedures. Today, 11 Alive's health editor Mark Ricard is at the Maloney Center with the last of three popular cosmetic procedures. Mark? Actually, Brenda, this is the end of number two. We're calling it a non-surgical facelift. Eileen, how do you feel? Great. I, I can actually tell a difference. Dr. Maloney, I'm surprised at how quick this works. A facelift in about uh, two minutes. Mm -hmm. It's giving her a nice fullness along the jawline where uh, she was beginning to lose some of that tissue. A little bit of swelling there, but that'll go down too. Exactly. All right, what are you going to do now? Joey the fish here, he's got many acne scars on his face, and patients with acne scars are going to have usually one of two things. Joey has a lot of loss of some of the deeper tissues, and that's where we see some of the depressions through here. So we're going to go ahead and try to fill some of those up with this material. Well, once again, obviously, we're using needles here, and some people are squeamish, but it really doesn't hurt. usually like to overcorrect a little bit just because there is some fluid in the material and that fluid is going to dissolve and or be absorbed just within a very short time. So you're actually filling out acne scars. Exactly. Joey, can I have you just reach up here with your right hand and hold a little pressure on that? Wonderful. Oh gosh. We do the same on this side here. Here we can see this depression, this whole hollowness in this area. And again, uh, when can we expect results from a procedure like this? Well, the results are readily apparent. Uh, he will realize the final results in about four months. And at that time, we'll know exactly how much of the material Joey's body has retained and whether or not he needs to have this procedure done again. Now, this procedure is a little bit more subtle, I think, than the others. Yes, you have to be a little bit more delicate. It takes a little bit more time. Yeah, well, with the acne scars, we have a couple levels that we can treat the scars. Right now, I'm treating underneath the skin. And uh, after we finish building up a couple of these areas, then we're going to go after some of the uh, single scars. All right, we are um, going to let you continue that. This procedure takes a little bit longer. We're going to check back um, right before the end of the hour, Brenda and Dia, let you know how uh, Joey did and uh, talk a little bit with Dr. Maloney. We'll All see right. you then. We'll see you later. Well, today we've had an up-close and personal look into cosmetic surgery. We've watched parts of three popular procedures as they happened. Health editor Mark Picard joins us now to wrap things up for us. Yeah, Dee and Brenda, it's amazing that we got it all done in less than an hour. Dr. Maloney, let's take a look at our last patient here and tell, you what, tell us what we're looking at. You can see that we were able to fill up the major uh, scars in, that, er, in Joe's face here, and he's done super. And you're telling us that he will need a little bit more later on. I need a little bit more to try to soften some of the other scars in the area, but he's done wonderful with this initial treatment. And how much do you think would, you'd be able to do? I mean, uh, it's amazing the before and after just in this short period of time. Well, this material is going to shrink down because a part of that volume is fluid. We actually mix the num or we mix the material with some numbing medicine, so that way it's not uncomfortable for the patients, but as a result of that, some of that material will shrink. All right, we just saw three procedures, and in terms of television, it was very interesting, but really, let me play the devil's advocate here. Why should we care about what we just saw? We're entering a whole new stage in cosmetic surgery. People are looking for quick things, things that don't involve much in the way of recovery. The injection of Symmetra is actually one of those techniques where it's quick, it's uh, very reliable, and uh, patients don't have any downtime. Yeah, it's amazing. It was all done so quickly. Three procedures in less than an hour. Acne scar uh, correction procedure. Had that non-surgical facelift. We have the lip um, augmentation with Vicky. Um, what other applications are there, very briefly? Almost any depressed scar on the body can be filled up with that. So it offers a tremendous hope for a lot of patients who need some reconstructive procedures. Dr. Maloney and everybody else here, you guys, thank you very, very much. Best of luck to you. Um, this is the first of our uh, five Healthy Living Lives. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to be at St. Joseph's Hospital to show you an angioplasty with gamma radiation. That should be pretty interesting. Brendan, Dia. All right. We'll be here for it. <laughs>